What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today we are looking at uh, a budget knife. This is the Harns Assassin. And uh, well, actually, this is the old one. So this came out uh, earlier this year. Um, some reviewers covered this. This is uh, 14C28N. Uh, it has uh, steel liners. It is G10. It is very smooth. Oh, well, that was clumsy. But it is still very smooth. It has great action. It is a big knife. Uh, it had one massive fatal flaw. Uh, they decided not to give it a pocket clip. So I picked one of these up because I liked the look of it, and I know that Harns makes other interesting knives. Uh, LTK and JT's Knife Life and some other people have done um, some, some reviews on them. I figured I'd give this one a shot, clip or no, just to see what you'd get. And I really liked it, but of course, with no pocket clip, it never got carried and sort of got forgotten. Well, recently, I guess they listened uh, to their fan base because this is the Harns Assassin with a pocket clip. And it's just a straightforward fix. They cut a little bit of the G10 out, they use a slightly different screw, and they bolted on a, uh, a uh, steel, relatively deep carry, pocket clip. And so now, what was a forgotten knife has turned into one that I really enjoy. Now, I should have gotten the DLC-coated uh, sort of blue-gray uh, handles again, but I was looking for something a little different. Um, they do make this one in the new model with the pocket clip. In fact, there are a number of different colors. But let's talk about what you get. Well, as I said, it is 14C28N. It is steel liners. It is G10. It is a simple and elegant construction with a G10 backspacer and a stamp steel pocket clip. Uh, it is running on bearings, and the action right out of the box is just drop shut and spectacular. The blade is beautiful. It's got some flats. It's got a beautiful swedge that runs the length of the blade. It is very sharp and very slicey, uh, surprisingly thin behind the edge. Uh, let's take a look at what you get for your $37. You cannot beat that with a stick. You get one, two, three, and three quarters inches of cutting edge. You get four inches of blade. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine inches of knife but it is very thin. Um, I love this thing. The profile is gorgeous. It is just at a little, well, it's just a little over a half inch wide through the handle. So it is very comfortable to hold. Uh, of course, the pocket clipless version is even more comfortable to hold. It's amazing how uh, much these things stand out, but you can't carry this thing unless you just want to drop it in the pocket. So you deal with the clip. It is very comfortable. It really is. It's got some jimping on the at the base of this. Excuse me, on the spine at the base of the blade, that is useful. Uh, it has a sharpening choil just at the bottom of the plunge grind, so that you don't get a really wide spot back here where the cutting edge is. There is nothing that interferes with the cutting path at all. This is all slice. This is a great knife, and again, it's thirty-seven bucks. Now, I don't know why they called it the Assassin. Uh, naming knives is a bit of a challenge, I think, for most companies. And, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many Assassins are going to carry one of these or who they're going to assassinate with it with, but um, it is very stabby if that is your thing. But mostly what this is is a really useful and sort of elegantly designed, simple, budget knife in a very good steel. I love 14C28N for budget steel. It is very rust resistant. It holds an edge extremely well. Um, it's very good steel for what you get. I, I prefer it. I prefer it over D2, even though the edge retention isn't quite as good. The stain resistance is much, much better. The grind on this one is very good. It is consistent across the length of the blade. Uh, they managed to keep it consistent even all the way up to the tip, which is very nice. The secondary bevel is what I'm talking about. The Harns uh, Pivot has got this H logo. Um, well, let's see if I get that a little closer and have it focus. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Uh, it is a little sharp. 
your thumb hooks up on it uh, pretty well, actually. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Beyond that, as I said, this is a really simple and beautiful knife. The pivot and one screw in the back uh, holding it together. Uh, it does not have a lot of extraneous screws or hardware on it. It's just beautiful. The flipper is very small. And I love that. It is uh, definitely a light switch. You can sort of push button it, but the way that it's built, if you press on it, you end up pulling it down anyway. And so it snaps open. It is very snappy. It is very nice. I love budget knives. I don't collect many of them anymore. The only reason I got this one is because I have its older brother here, and I loved this knife. I just, you know, didn't carry it because of the pocket clip deal. I love that they have fixed that that they've listened to their fan base and that they have made some uh, decisions that make this, well, a very competitive knife, particularly at the price. Now, Harns does make other knives. I don't have any of them anymore. I used to have a few. Um, they make a lot in 440. Uh, in 440, they make some in other steels. Um, that would be up to you. They make more outdoorsy looking knives. They make some harder use looking knives, although I wouldn't really call them hard use. I think this is my favorite design of the bunch because it is so lean and so long and just really, really beautiful. Now, I would have been happier, I suppose, if they had not stamped their name quite so big on that pocket clip there, but um, you get what you get. Uh, the nice thing is about this design, uh, this means you could probably make, manufacture, or find an, an aftermarket clip for this if you wanted to. Um... I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. <laughs> Let's do a size comparison to our old friend, the uh, Rat Model 1. Let's line the uh, blades up on a line here so we're in a straight. As you can see, it is within oh, a quarter inch in length of the uh, Rat Model 1, but you get a lot more cutting surface. And it is a better steel. The Rat Model 1 is an OS 8. I don't enjoy OS 8. Uh, it is stainless, but my experience with it is that it doesn't hold an edge worth a damn. Your experience may vary. That's mine. Uh, and so I prefer the 14C28N. Uh, here, of course, is the Rat Model 2. As you can see, the uh, Harns Assassin is a much bigger knife than that, but not really. If you look at the height of the blade, uh, the, uh, you know, the height of the blade and the overall size of the handle, they are very similar. It's much wider, of course, but um, yeah, it's closer in, in size of the handle and stuff to the uh, to the Rat Model 2 here. I don't know. I love this thing. I'm really glad they fixed the one big problem with it because that was a real deal breaker. Um, in the world of budget knives, there are so many choices. You're you're endless at this point. It is a real well. It's a really great time to be into knives, particularly if you like budget knives. Um, I've moved away from them quite a bit in my collection, but every once in a while, one comes along that really speaks to me. This is one of those. Look at that. Look, I got this today. <laughs> I haven't taken it apart. I haven't lubed it, cleaned it, done anything to it. It is so snappy and good. We are at about a 30% lockup here on the, uh, on the liner lock. Uh, there is a little bit of a, it's angled and, and raised a little bit on the liner lock side so that you can get your thumb over to it super easily. Uh, it is, it's just really well made. I am, uh, well, I'm thoroughly impressed. <laughs> These are on Amazon. If you want one, go get one because for 37 bucks, you are in the same price range as most Kershaw and most CRKT. I've had a lot of those and this uh, particularly for the action, is better. It just is. Um, I like this knife. I think you will too. If you don't care about pocket clips, you can get this one still on Amazon, I found out. Why you would do that, I don't know. But you could. But please note, you can get the new one in this kick-ass color combination. I really should have done this. But uh, like I said, I was after something different. Um, I think this one is considerably more beautiful. Uh, it's too bad I can't just move the pocket clip over, 
but they did make the scale on this side a little different. It's cut out for the clip and it's not here, but I may try anyway, just to see what happens. So that's pretty much it. You get for $37, a good size, good steel, well-made G10 14C28N steel linered pocket knife. It is very straightforward. It is unassuming. It is beautiful for all of that as far as I'm concerned. I hope they do more of this. I know that there's a big market for big giant slicers and cutters. Hell, I love enormous knives, but it's always good to have something out there that is reasonably priced that you can recommend to people. And I will actually recommend this to people when they ask. It is really, really nicely done. If you don't mind it saying assassin right there on the blade. I suppose that that is appealing to whoever designed the knife. I wish it didn't say that. <laughs> but um, I don't know, maybe you are an assassin and maybe this is just your kind of knife. Although somehow I doubt it. It's got a little jumping back here on the uh, G10 backspacer, which is nice in case you want to hold it that way, I suppose. Other than that, it is a very clean and straightforward design. I'm going to call this a good one. I really am. I liked it in the original quite a bit. I was really sad about the pocket clip deal. This is everything that the original was, only pocketable. And I got to tell you, because of the way they did this stamp steel clip, it does drop in and out of the pocket really easily. It's got really nice snap to it. It's got just enough lift in there, enough space. Um, it's good stuff. There's a little jimping on the uh, flipper tab, but man, is it smooth. All right, guys, this is the Harns Assassin. The update is what it's called on uh, Amazon, Harns Assassin Update. And the update, of course, is the pocket clip. If you are into this style of knife and budget knives are your thing, give this a look. I think it's really worth your time. I know it's certainly worth the money. Um, that's about it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the uh, Harns Assassin or any of the knives you've seen on my channel, feel free to ask down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll talk to you next time.